the price had been a king of the stage and princes to act and monarchs to dwelling on the sea. My wife? Your wife? Yes, she was in the grove picking flowers. In these to find the sweetest flowers and a surprise for you. Please do not take long, my dear wife. You know how I suffer in your absence. Farewell, Orpheus. Now, dear little friend, where are you? Are we alone? Yes. Now, tell me about the golden strings you promised me. My husband, Orpheus, will be delighted when he sees them. He adores his guitar. All in good time. Let us get to know one another first. Right. Well, I really haven't the time. Just the strings, please. But first... <laughs> Oh. 
son più forte, non son più forte, non son più forte. And now, my dear, you will come with me. No, I need to get back to my husband. It is too late. <sighs> ah! How can you do this to me? You knew I was a snake when you arranged to meet me. What are you doing, fair Persephone? Oh, Hades, my love! I heard the cry, and it moved me so. Come, my dear, let's escort her home with us. Well, that is something. 
I don't know a whole lot about a drama. I am a musician. You are Orpheus. Yes. Oh dear. Then is it Eurydice that you see? Yeah. In that case, you will not find her amongst the living. What? But I just saw her. Yes. Then she encountered the ass. It, it's here in the script. No, no, no. She's my wife. I cannot live without her. At a time like this. This is exactly when you should think of art. I was just thinking, I have to head down to the underworld to judge a playwriting competition. Maybe you could come with me and get your wife back? Playwriting competition? In the underworld? Yes. The old playwrights never give up. They're constantly being produced. Maybe you could help. Add a little music to the drama. But aren't there living playwrights that deserve to be produced? Of course, and living playwrights. But are you coming or not? All right, I just have to get my wife back. Follow me to the river sticks.
Welcome to the Underworld. How can we help you? What can we do to make you feel at home after your journey? Oh, thank you. But we aren't staying. Heavens no. I'm just here for my wife. What? Oh, no, no. What he means to say is that he is here as my assistant. He is a musician and we are judging the playwriting competition. Well, that does present something of a problem then. Why? Well. The playwrights are all off on a retreat this weekend. What? This is unforgivable! But we can escort you to the Great Hall of Opera Composers. The annual convention is underway. They're entertaining the new arrivals from up above. I will show you the way. We have all the big names. Mozart, Bizet, Purcell, Wagner, Verdi, and many of their leading characters. And if worse comes to worse, you can hang out with Bill. He missed the boat and had to stay here. Bill? Shakespeare, okay. You twisted my arm. Let's go! your pardon. I have fire. I have music. I have castanets. My, my, my. You certainly do. Are you indeed the one known as Carmen? We. Oui. Then our meeting is not over to Don Giovanni. Si. I have no fire for you. They certainly are feisty. These opera folk are quite passionate. We? Oui. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Si tu 
was lovely, just lovely. Thank you, one of my better works. And now I will be taking my wife. This is your wife? Oh, I cannot part with her, signore. It is out of the question. What is your name, child? Eurydice. Ah, a Greek. Allow me to induce myself. My name is Henry Purcell, British, 1659 to 1695. I'm great with the ancients. Yes, yes, very good. We get it. Point is, I could tell your story better than anyone. Per Purcell, I have something to say. Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? Are you deaf? I am Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart. Perhaps you have heard of a small piece of brilliance called the Magic Flute? Oh, yeah. And Le Nozzi de Figaro? Yeah, yeah. And, co and Cosi Fun? Bon Jabon! About me, me, me! Oh, brother. Back to this Orpheus and Eurydice. Has your story been set to music? Yes, uh, several times. You don't know a good story. I know a good story. I know how to coax it out of my characters. my core. Bill, sit down. I told you it was all right to stay, but you really must keep quiet. This is the Hall of Music. Nonsense! There is no music without drama. Who are you? Hello. I am Herr Wogner, the guard to my friends. Anyway, I was just telling you about the drama in music. You see, opera is the perfect music of the two elements. The music cannot exist without the drama. And the drama is best illustrated by the music. It drives great art. If music be the food of love, play on! Shh, shh. 
Don't make me warn you again. Sorry, I was just inspired. Maybe I should write opera. Yeah, on the bill. I have been meaning to talk to you about something. Who art thou? I'm Signore Giuseppe Verdi. Yes? And well, I turned several of your plays into operas. Thou didst what? Well, I didn't think you would mind, and I certainly never thought we would meet. I'll tell you what he did. He took the Queen's English and turned it into Italian. Well, yes, of course. I mean, English is not very singable. <laughs> what? So which plays didst thou steal? Steal is such a strong word. We like adapt. So which stolen works didst thou adapt? Macbeth. My crown jewel? Othello. The horror! Falstaff. You gave that buffoon a whole opera? Romeo and Juliet? Oh, no, 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 no. That wasn't me. That was Guno. Besides, what about a Midsummer Night's a Dream? Yes, that one was mine. There are others? How many?
while you're sorting out the stolen works of Shakespeare, perhaps I can take my dear Eurydice and head for home. What? It is getting late. No, no, that's not how it works. With all due respect, it has been fun visiting and all, but I would rather go with my husband. I mean, it was just one harmless snake bite after all. If she goes, I go. Persephone, you should come too. It must be awfully cold up on earth with you down here. No, you don't understand. La Bohème, and I were just a talking about how <coughs> a one a little cough should not kill a girl off. Nor should one lapse in moral judgment. One lapse in moral judgment. None of us None should of be here. here. We, we want, want to, go want to go home too. too. No, no, no. Out of the question. Well, how come none of Mr. Wagner's people are here? They are in Valhalla. Why aren't you with them? I don't know. I really don't belong here. I mean, my operas were pretty revolutionary. It seems wrong that I should be down here with such conventional composers. We were all very revolutionary. Yes, of course you were. I think he is mocking us. Mr. Dionysus, was it? You were sent to the competition, if I am not mistaken. Perhaps uh, you and your friend here could decide which composer is the best. Violetta, you want your freedom? Show them the best.
was wonderful, but I don't know much about music. But you know drama, so you should understand music, especially when the two are so connected. Well, Mr. Orpheus is quite a musician. He could stay and help. No, I'm taking my wife and going home. I already told you that is out of the question. Perhaps we could strike a bargain. If Orpheus learns the music of these composers and helps to judge the competition, he might take Eurydice back home with him. That seems fair. I'll do it. Ready to haul for the competition! Ladies, do you have something to say? What do you mean? My lady, I think he is referring to the fact that we are in his play and in Signore Verdi's opera. Precisely. I never said you could go off and work for him. You were dead. We did not think it would matter. I gave you music to sing. In my play, you sang the Willow Song. Well, it seems Signore Verdi wrote the same thing. Perhaps we can hear a bit of both.
lovely. Não, senhor Verdes. Thank you.
very moving indeed. Oh, that was glorious. Just glorious. Just what I meant to say. I forgive you. I forgive you all. I see now that you have not detracted from my work, but honored it with new life. You are a good man, Bill, and you truly understand the thoughtful merging of drama and music. Perhaps you would like to accompany me to Valhalla? I'll be right behind you. May I taste, take for your sea and go home? Yes, you may, but don't ever look back. Don't look back? What kind of advice is that? How can we create a future if we have no idea of the past? Think of all of the great art that we would have missed out on if we never looked back. History, imagination, and creation is all we have. But think of all the great art that is under our noses right now. You must understand the past and encourage the future. Maybe looking back is okay. No, no, no. You cannot change the story. Orpheus is not allowed to look back. That is the way the myth goes. The song, the operas, the ballets, the epic poems. If he does, he will lose her forever. Well, that seems very tragic. That's opera. Let's at least try. you, Dionysus, to declare the winner. Well, things won are done. Joy soul lies in the doing. What? Play on! <laughs>